Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Naomi and I'll be able to take you through the bar bedding schedule of a beam. Uh, most of you have been asking for a video on bar bedding schedule. Bar bedding schedule is where we are able to calculate the length of all the reinforcements that we need in our building. Uh, when we are taking off reinforcements, we usually use the schedule. A schedule usually help us to simplify the work it makes the work easier so uh once we are doing a schedule when you're doing taking off it helps us uh to do uh things that are uh quite a number we we summarize them so once we summarize it becomes easier to do them in the tick of sheets all right so in today's video we are looking at a bar bedding schedule and a bar bedding schedule the bar bedding schedule that we are looking at today is the bar bedding schedule for the beams Okay, so in our plan today, we have um, we have this section here. It's a section of the beam. Uh, this is a beam. It, a beam runs from a column to a column. So this is one column. This is another column. Inside here, we have the beam. And we are told this is not just a normal beam. It's a ground beam. It's found below the surface of the earth. It's for the foundation. So uh, the beam usually have bars. Some are the top. Some at the bottom. Then they are tied together by stirrups. Now we have taken a section of a wall that has a beam. We have cut it through halfway. So what we are going to see is that we have, shall see some bars at the top, some bars at the bottom. Then all these bars, they are tied together by stirrups. All right? So uh, for the bars at the top, we are told that there are 2 T12 bars. And we are showed the plan here. If we are able to cut, you see, for the beam, this one is now the plan. When we are able to cut the section AA, what we shall observe here is that we shall see these reinforcement bars running. Then we have these reinforcement bars, some at the bottom, some at the top. Then here we have the, you know, all this one is a star up, all right? So the star up has hooks because of anchorage, so that it can be able to anchor itself well on these uh, reinforcement bars that are on the other side, the horizontal bars. So this is a star up. The star up is uh, 25 millimeters by 125 millimeters. Now, that star up here, it's this one, all right? Here we have the, this, this uh, reinforcement bar coming this way. So uh, these, these uh, reinforcement bars, they are T12. At the top, we have two T12 bars. At the bottom here, we have two T18 bars. We have two different types of bars. Now we want to do a barbading schedule. Then later, we do takeoff. We enter it in a takeoff sheet. All right? So, uh, once we are taking off, we should note that concrete cover is 25 millimeters. So we want to fill this schedule. This schedule will not be given. You will have to do your own schedule. So you'll draw such a table. You write a description, the shape, the diameter, the number, the length, and the total length. Remember, we have said that schedules help us to summarize the work so that can, it can be easier for us to, to book it in the takeoff sheet. So we shall start here. We shall start now with the T12 t bars at the top. You see, at the top, we have the T12 bars, and there are two, all right? So, we want to calculate the total length of each bar. We are told that from the center of this column to the center of this column is 2600. So, the length is 2600. Then, we are told that the columns, the, the sizes of the column, it's 125 by 125. So, the columns are square in shape, all right? So, we want to know the length of the reinforcement bar. You remember, uh, this top, bar, uh, top, top reinforcement bar, it's a top bar. It runs from here up to here. Now we want to calculate the length of that bar. We are told that from here to here, it's 2600. But this top bar passes, it is a passes 2600, right? But we do not know the, the, the dimensions from here up to here. So that's what we want to calculate. So we will have to find from end to end. Then we shall deduct the country, concrete cover this side and this side, okay? So, uh, this one is 2600 up to here at the center. We shall add the other half of the column. The length of the column was 125. Half of, it, half of it, it shall be 125 divided by 2. Then we shall multiply by 2 to get from end to end. So that's why we have taken 
we shall take two times a half of 125. We shall get 125. So the length from the, of, the, of the beam from center to center of the column, 2.6, we add 0 0.125, we get 2.725. Then, uh, after we do that, we shall deduct the covers because the reinforcement bar between the column, the end of the column, and the reinforcement bar, we should have a cover. We shall deduct the cover this side and this side. So we shall deduct two covers. So the total cover shall be 50 millimeters. So this one, we deduct this one, we shall get 2.675. Then, uh, if we look at this uh, reinforcement bar very well, it has a bend here and it has a bend here. How do you calculate the length of the bend? We use a formula, which is 5.5 B. So the diameter of this bar is, t we have had the bar, the bar is T12. So the diameter is 12 millimeters. So 5.5 times 12. Then there are two bends here and here, all right? So 2 times 5.5 .5 times 0 0.12, we get 0 0.132. So when we add the total length of the bar plus the bends, we shall get 2.807. So say 2.8. So we shall come and write that 2.8 here. Then it is a top bar. It looks like this, the shape. The diameter is 12 because it's the 12. How many are they? They are two T12 bars. With the length of each to 12 bar is 2.80, so the total length of the bar is 33.60, okay? So we shall go to the bottom bar. The bottom bar, it is this bar here, it's at the bottom. We are told that it is 2T18, alright? So it is a bottom bar, it looks like this. No, the top bar is the one that looks, the top bar should be the one that, that looks, it faces down. The bottom bar faces up that was an error the top bar faces down the bottom arrow the bottom bar faces up all right so uh the both we shall go to the bottom bar it faces up diameter is t18 so the diameter is 18 all right t18 how many are there there are two t18 so there are two in number so we are told to calculate the length. How do we calculate the length for that? We shall come here, 2t18, okay? I hope you can see here. So the length from the center of the column to the center of the column was 2.60. Then we shall add the other half of the column, half of the column. You see, we want to find from end to end. Then we deduct the covers so that you can calculate the length from here to here so the length was from here to here 2.6 we add half of the column and half of the column so that you can find the length from end to end then we deduct the cover the cover to get the length then we add the bed isn't it so easy it is so uh we shall stand at uh, two times a half times 125 we get 125 so the length was 2.6 we add 125 we get 27 25 millimeters we deduct the covers both sides 25 millimeters times two we get 50 so once we did that we get 2.675 then now we shall add the bend the bend is 5.5 d on each side so two times two 5.5 d shall be two times 5.5 times the diameter is 18 you see it's t18 times 18 we get 0 0.198 once we add because it's the length of the bar plus the bend we get 2.873 so say 2.8 87 once we round off so 2.87 2.87 it's here to get the total length of the bars we shall take the number of bars times the length of the bars all right so the number of bars it shall be two numbers two numbers of bottom bars each bar is 2.87 all right then uh we should be able to get 2 times 8, 7. So the total length of the bars shall be, we have two number bars, uh, each bar is 2.87, so the total length is 5.74. Uh, for the other one, if we have two bars, the length is 2.80, so the total length is 5.60, alright? So uh, we shall come to the startups. The startups, we need to know the length of the startup and how many startups we have. So uh, once you are given this section, we are told that the length of the, you see this one was the length of the column. The length of the column, this one must have been uh, 
a mistake here. So uh, this one is the length of the column. The column is, the reinforcements are inside the column. So we shall use this one. The length of the column, then here inside we have the stirrups. And the stirrups have four reinforcement bars, all right? So from end of the column to the end of the column is 375. We want to calculate the length of the stirrup. Remember, the star wrap should have a concrete cover between the reinforcement bar and the end, all right? So it shall be 375. We deduct two covers. Cover is 25, 25. Once we deduct two covers, we get 3.25. Then uh, we come to the width, all right? Uh, the length of this star wrap from here to here is this one, 0 0.325. We come to the width, which is 125. We deduct the cover this side and this side. So the length from here to here shall be uh, 125. We deduct uh, 0 0.025, we get 0 0.075. So uh, to get the perimeter of that tara, we shall take the length plus the width. We get 0 0.40. We multiply by 2. We get 0 0.8. Now we need to add the anchorage. You know, every star wrap must have some hooks. The hooks are anchorage. How do we determine the length of the hooks? It is 24D. The 24 times the diameter. The diameter is 6 millimeters. So 24 times 6 millimeters, we get 0 0.144. So the, to the total length of each star wrap shall be the perimeter of the star wrap plus the anchorage. We get uh, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.144, we get 0 0.944. So in our bar bedding shade, we shall say the star wrap, what is the uh, diameter of the star wrap? At six, six, all right? And then uh, we, we need to know the number of the star wraps. Now that you know each star wrap is 0 0.94, uh -huh. how many star wraps will we have? We come here. Number of star wraps will be the total length of the bar. You know, star wraps in a beam, they are only placed where we have the beam. Inside the column, we, we shall have its own star wraps. The column shall have its own star wraps. So the star wraps can only be distributed within the beam. So we'll take the length of the beam from center to center. We shall deduct the uh, half column, half column each side so that we can get only the size of the beam. So 2600, we deduct two halves of the column so that we can get the dimensions from here to here. So that because we should only distribute the star wraps within the beam. Okay, so 2.6 minus 0 0.125, we get 2.475. Then we shall take that length uh huh. That length, 24.75, we divide by the spacing, 150 plus 1, to get the number of startups. So we get 17.5. 17.5 rounded off, it's say 18. So how many uh, startups do we have? We have 18 startups. The length of each startup, we got it here, 0 0.94, it's here, 0 0.94. So 18 times 0 0.94, we get the total length of the startups is 16.92 all right now we want to know how do we enter these quantities in a take of sheet so once we are coming to book it in the take of sheet we shall come okay the take of sheet we shall you know that it has a time sink column the dimension column the squaring column and the description column so how do we book it how many numbers of top bottom bars do we have we shall take two bottom bars I had two number, the length of each bottom bar, the total length. So these two times 2.87, we get 5.74 at the length of the bottom bars, total length. So uh, when we are doing a takeoff, we should convert the, uh, the length of the bars to kilograms so that we can be able to transfer them to the BQ. So how many kilograms of T18 bars will we have? To get the number of kilograms of the bars, we usually take d squared over 162 to get kilograms per meter. Then we multiply by the number of meters to get the total mass. Okay, so we'll take, uh, it was T18 bars. So diameter squared, 18 squared, divided by 162 times the total length of 5.74. So we shall get 11.48 kilograms. So we shall go to the next bar, which is T12 bars, top bars. T12 bars, top bars, there are two number. 
the length of each bar is 2.80 so the total length is 5.60 so uh, what will be the mass of that bar in kilogram so it shall be d squared over 162 the diameter is 12 12 squared divided by 162 then we multiply by them the total length we get 4.98 kilograms okay so we shall go to the startups now so the startups we have 18 number startups each startup is 0 0.94 so we shall get 16.92 what will be uh how do we book it what will be the mass of the startups if there are six startups d squared over 162 it's six squared over 162 we multiply by the total length which is 16.92 we get 3.76 kilograms that way we have transferred the bar bedding schedule to the takeoff sheet i hope that video has been helpful to you if it has been helpful to you kindly let us know in the comment section if you have any question uh, uh, as per this video kindly write it in the comment section too uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you have been watching our content kindly we ask for your subscription that will be the, our support or the, uh, uh, your support to us so we will really appreciate help us to get to 10 subscribers and uh, we will really appreciate in case of you have any other thing that you would want us to cover in our next videos can relate it in the comment section and we shall be able to know uh, what you expect from us from your end so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video